What's up, y'all? Before we get into the episode, wanted to make a couple really quick announcements. Number one, the masterclass that we've been talking about for what feels like forever is finally available. Um, if you guys haven't heard of the masterclass yet, essentially what it is is you guys have been asking us all these really specific questions about what we do, how we get permission, what we say to landowners, how we find these bucks, how we do mock scrapes, the whole nine yards. And we decided the best way to give you guys this information was in a comprehensive course. Uh, we partnered up with Taylor Chamberlain up in Washington, D.C. He's been doing the same thing up there that we've been do doing down here in Atlanta for probably longer than we have. Um, so that course is finally available. We'll link that down below. Announcement number two. Lee's giving away his prized possession, the camo limo. Uh, we're also giving away a new canoe kayak, a Hoyt bow, Vortex Optics, and a bunch of other stuff from our other partners. Uh, if you guys haven't signed up for that giveaway, we'll link that down below as well. Other than that, we hope you enjoy the episode. I don't even know what date it is. It's sometime in August. I'm flying to Ohio right now. Staying with a buddy of mine who's been um, hunting up there for several years. We're going to be mixing it up. I mean, we're going to be trying to find some smaller honey holes. We're going to be finding some large uh, bean farms. There's, there's tons of ag out there. Hundreds of acres, thousands of acres, all the way down to one, two, three acres. Got three days to get it done up there. Gonna try and get a handful of spots, get some cameras out, and uh, hightail it back up here when the season starts. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Good to see ya. Jason was introduced to me. We kind of met through a mutual friend, and we've just, I mean, we've talked on the phone a lot. Um, you know, he knew that we were looking at coming to Ohio. We just kind of hit it off and have become friends and invited me to come up here and uh, kind of branch out on what what they've been doing here the last couple of years. And he's got some buddies that have hunted here for a while, but our goal is to basically step outside of what they've been, or the areas that they've kind of, um, been the, doing the door knocking thing, getting permission, going to some uncharted territories, new places. Um, and again, it's gonna be that mix of large farms all the way down to small, you know, couple acre, five acre, three acre tracks type stuff and kind of anywhere in between. Um, there's a lot of, it's different up here. I'm from the South. This is, it, things are different up here. And there's a lot of, a lot of these outskirts cities, you have to do a lot of, um, I guess go through a bunch of hoops to make sure that you're doing everything by the rules. All these cities have uh, a police department that's put an urban management plan in place. So we're actually headed right now to get a proficiency test done where I have to shoot and score. Well, I mean, I don't know what, I have to have a certain performance. It's like a 45, you yeah. five shots of a 10 ring target. To basically, know, be approved to hunt some of these more urbanish areas. Um, we also have to have approval from certain police departments, which I've had conversations with several of them up here, and you've got relationships with several mm -hmm. of them up here. So, um, making sure that we're doing everything correctly by the book, crossing our T's and dotting our I's. We're going to jump into it. We are guns blazing from now until I fly out in a couple days. Proficiency tests, police departments, knock on doors, trail cameras kill a giant. That's the plan for this year. There you go. So we're going to go do it. Jason, what are we doing, buddy? Trying to get this bow right, man. <laughs> Something mess right now. So we're here doing our proficiency test, and my plan was to borrow Jason's bow, but his draw length is way too long. So I'm shooting his wife's bow, and I think it's set at 30 pounds. <laughs> so we're getting the sights adjusted. I think we can pull it off with it. Uh, we have to hit five shots inside of these inner white circles at 20 yards. So I think we can pull it off. Here, go ahead and shoot I feel good about it. <laughs> I feel good about it. <laughs> Mm. 
We can do this. We can pull it off. I can see the arrow just lost. Like, uh. <laughs> Pressure's on, man. Good luck. Women's bow. <laughs> There's one. Five. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's not bad, man. No, that's really good, dude. For, <laughs> that's not bad. For the first two shots, look at that. I mean, I got... That's that was the only one that was on the line. Yeah, that's still a five. Yeah. With a but, woman's bow, bow you've never shot, release you've never used. Hey, 30-pound draw. Yeah, 30-pound draw, <laughs> 24, 26-inch uh, draw length. Now, oh, good on your the pressure's on you yeah, because if you end. don't outperform the women's bow, <laughs> something wrong some, with you. Yeah, some <laughs> issues. Is that a normal thing here? Is that normal here? Everywhere. <laughs> All right, it's well, unreal. that would be hilarious if I pulled up at a house in horse and buggy and knocked on the door and asked for permission. This guy needs to work on his horsepower. So this is tricky. I mean, this is kind of a new dynamic like every state you go every area you go you're gonna have to do there's different rules like Ohio is a one buck state I've never hunted a one buck state but this particular situation there's there are zones where you can hunt there are zones where you can hunt and we're having to pay attention to our map really closely to make sure that we're in the zones that we can hunt this one would have been a perfect property to ask but it's just outside of that zone where you there's just no hunting allowed here so this is the first step, boots on the ground in here. This is my first time laying eyes on it. And uh, it's just gonna take driving around, looking at our maps and knocking on doors and kind of slowly foot figure it out and hopefully get in the right areas. First place, first door knock in Ohio. There's actually a couple people that hunt here already. You know, a lot of people are doing this and uh, gotta find the right spot. That no one's gotten to. Oh, man. Come on. Nobody home on the bridge. We're running out of spots in this area. We need somebody to say yes. We're in. Yeah? We're in. Money, son. Um, where's those uh, I got two signature pages? They at? need to sign the bottom on that one. Alright, cool. First one sign. A million more to go. Oh man. That was elaborate. Take you a little bit? Yeah. I mean how long did I talk? <laughs> it's probably been 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah, probably. But we got a spot and I saw, I mean I I saw a couple deer. Did just you? a couple does run off. Just, yeah, that's a good sign. But, um... Um, what, what was so difficult? I mean, it was just, uh... Just kind of convince her, like, it, what was going on. I just had to, you know, you have to explain, like, how important it is for hunting to take place. Mm -hmm. Especially in areas where... Well, I mean, there's there's clearly hunting pressure. There's people hunting, but... Yeah. Still not enough. Um, and, you know, you just have to kind of explain that the benefits of hunting and paint the right picture for him and sure she uh, oh so so what she did do was you know for for every property I'm like if you have specific wishes like I'm gonna respect what you ask mm -hmm. and she was like I only would like one buck like one older buck oh um, no, no dose. problem okay so I mean I was like you know what <laughs> whatever yeah I mean yeah. I, you know whatever your wishes are I do need to go find another place where I can take some does though two houses down let's get some more oh that looks so good we got American flag flying I love that oh man <clears throat> it was an elderly lady and she kept calling me Ricky 
I don't know who Ricky is, but I'm not Ricky. House number 564. What do you think, Ricky? We're back at the place where the grandma called me Ricky. So maybe I'll just, hey, I'm Ricky. Can I hunt here? <laughs> I heard yelling. Dude, I've never had an experience like that in my life. Yeah? In, of door knocking. What happened? <laughs> I've just experienced the most racist thing no, to dude, ever come I out of somebody's mouth. I experienced that out here. And it was from another white lady, and I'm telling you, I've never heard what's come out of an old lady's mouth. The, the things that just were told to me, I cannot repeat. <laughs> I cannot repeat. <laughs> and I was, <laughs> did you get permission? No, no. I, I mean, no. The uh, she's still yelling at me. Yeah. She, she's literally still yelling at me. What is she saying to you? She like run you off? I can't say what was just said to me, but in 15 years of door knocking, I've never had anything close to the level of profanity that was just thrown at me by like an 85 year old woman. <laughs> I need a morale boost after that just demoralizing last <laughs> encounter. Hopefully this one goes better. I'm sure it will, because that last one was pretty rock bottom. <clears throat> Dude, uh, I think we might have saved the best for last. That's five properties we've gotten, and three hours, four hours. Yeah, he's 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 got. I mean, it's it's a bunch of woods back here, and he's like, he's like, man, we see him. He's like, I've seen some big bucks running around too. He's like, they're here. I think we get a camera out, and then um, we'll have two cameras out. We'll have one at the first place, one here. I think that tomorrow, I think that we move on to bean farms. We've done our urban game. Let's get into the rural game. Let's knock on it. some farmers' doors, but let's get a camera out here because this place is really promising. I'm not gonna lie, this looks pretty, pretty freaking good. <clears throat> That's a that's a shooter eight. Yeah. Yes. Shooter eight. Hot. Yes. We had literally just wrapped up our day. We just finished putting our cameras out, and we were on the way back, and we just saw like a bunch of deer in a field. We were we were just like <laughs> <laughs> pulled over, and there's there's a that, that's 140. I'm gonna get the spotting scope out. I'm gonna get a closer look at them. All right, pick your head up, buddy. Ohio, dude, that's the first Ohio buck I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it is. Awesome, that's the man. first Ohio buck I've ever that's seen in awesome. my life. Land of the Giants. This place has 40 acres and it backs up to some ag behind it. So I want to ask here, I'm going to ask the other. That looks like a rub back there. Um, ask the farmer behind. Hopefully between these two, I just got, I gotta find a farm, man. I gotta get something with some ag on it. Oh yeah. Okay. Do you know where the, the pond and the railroad track is? The oh, man, look at that smile on his face. Uh, Better be a good smile. What I, what I tell you about Batman's darkest for the dawn, night as dark as just for the dawn, I feel Dude, like we have access to a bunch of hunting property. We have been searching all day for that conversation right there. Um, not only did we get access to this bean farm, we got access to three other bean farms. And he's like, "Dude, this bean farm. Remember the prison that I called the yeah, game yeah, warden? Yeah. Called the warden? Yeah. He owns a bean farm that butts up to that prison. Oh no. And way. he's like, he's like." Uh, there's huge deer there. He's like huge deer. That was worth the whole trip coming up here was just that one conversation Dude, landing those farms. Bad. So we're gonna stick a camera out right now Absolutely. on this place because I the promise one you there's a big deer here. 
I just need to get out of this driveway without getting T-bone first. What's the moral of the story here? Never give up, baby. There you go. We just struck gold, baby. There's definitely gonna be some deer coming to this field tonight. This. This is more like it. Yes, sir. This is more like it. This is what we've been waiting for. There's deer in the corner over here. Yep. Really big doe. Yeah. It's a mega doe. I like it. I like it. That's a buck That's track. A That's big a big buck, buck track. track. Yeah. It's old, but yeah, I mean it just rained today too, so a lot of these tracks are gonna look washed a little out. bit yeah, a little bit washed out. Alright, well let's stick it out. Alright, trap is set. There are huge buck tracks in the corner of this field. Like, huge, like tracks you don't see down south. Finally got our bean field, dude. That's mission accomplished. We got a handful of our tighter urban spots. We got our bean fields. And we got a beautiful Oklahoma sunset to go, Oklahoma, Ohio sunset <laughs> to go with it. I'm losing my mind, man. Thank you again for everything. Yes, sir. I'm going to get back to Atlanta. Oh my gosh. Just logged 11 hours straight, baby. How you doing, man? Did you make the good plunge? Hey, buddy. Hey, look at this shirt. Hey, oh, you're yeah, we're matching. <laughs> Dang it, I hate when this happens. We're I gotta matching. change shirts. <laughs> this happens like literally every, every single time I show up somewhere. Really? It happens to Drew and I like every, every time. That man sent me a picture. Uh, That's better. Here. All right, here's the deal. We made it back to Ohio. Uh, update since the last time we were here, I mean, we spent three days knocking on doors and we got some urban honey holes, we got some bigger bean farms and kind of where we're at is we got, of all the spots we got, we found one little honey hole that's got a bachelor group of bucks in it. And there's one buck in there in particular that is really thick, thicker than oatmeal. Yeah. <laughs> and he's been, he's been showing really good. So it could be, I, I'm literally going through this in Atlanta right now. I was hunting a deer and I was like, I think it's gonna be a one and done sit. And now it's turning this two week saga. I know you thought the same thing. Yeah, he, I was the same, same thing. Jason's thing, man. chasing one up here that we were thinking it would be a one and done and now it's turned into a, it's a week and week long yeah, deal. Yeah, we're still after him, so. Did it sign on the other side? No, because this is that's all just copies. Yeah, this is the one you'll use. Yeah, I mean okay, cool. all we'll do is like when you tag it, just fill that out. Oh, this is my first time hunting Ohio, so I don't. I want to make yeah. sure that no, I'm leaning on someone's understanding, yeah, to make sure no, I'm doing no. everything yeah. perfectly. Oh, this place that we're hunting, I have to take a doe before I can shoot a buck. So we're headed to one of the places that Jason and I got uh, when I was up here a month and a half ago, and it's crawling with does. Um, so that's, that's the first step is we have to get a doe under our belt before we can take a buck. And this buck has been pretty consistent here. He actually disappeared for like three or four days and he just came back. And at, I mean, I got the pictures two yesterday, two days ago or whatever it was. And I was like, I'm boom, I'm going to Ohio. So we just dropped what we were doing. I've been hunting a deer back home that's been giving me the run around. And just while that deer has been finicky, we hightailed it up here. Hopefully to have it go down and break the ice for the season um, here in Ohio. So the mission for tonight is to put a doe down so that we can free up the buck tag for the next few days that we're up here. There's several, there's actually like three or four deer over here. Deer coming, deer coming, right here.
second to have backed up. Ready? Ready? I need more arrows, man. I may come. I may buy a couple more doe tags just to shoot a couple more deer. We've got a local police officer here, and he's like, "Dude, I'll take every deer you can possibly get," because he has he legitimately has like really needy families, and uh, he's like so thankful that that I was like, "Yeah, man, like I I got opportunities at home that I can put deer in my own freezer. I'm happy to give you guys all the deer meat." So I'm excited. To, I'm excited to. Make, you know, know these deer are going to a really good cause. Doing our part, let's go get that doe. I think she fell right here. All right, we got our doe. You want to grab a leg or is this a one-man show? One-man show. Got about 45 minutes to the spot we're going to. Uh, the deer last night did not show up in daylight. He did come through, he walked by the camera twice. Uh, so, let's see. So in the last three evenings, he showed up twice in a row, not last night. Um, but he's definitely still in the area. So, very hopeful, but dude, I just, I jinxed myself on a buck in Atlanta that I was like, oh, one and done. And I went in there and it turned into this massive saga. So I don't want to jinx this one, but I do feel like we have a very good chance of seeing this deer tonight. So we're headed in to get in super, super early, uh, get a set hung and get settled. And man, hopefully he comes wandering by me. I would love to break the ice.
go down. I drilled him right. I drilled him right. Can you believe that? Dude, he is down. Oh my gosh. Dude, remember, I, I was telling you, I was like, dude, he'll show up midday. He'll show up midday. We gotta get up early. Dude, we got in so early today. We hadn't been set an hour. Yes, baby, we broke the ice in Ohio. Are you kidding me? Oh man. Dude, it has been such a grind back home. I've been hunting Tennessee, I've been hunting Georgia, and it's just been the cat and mouse game nonstop back home. And I never thought it would take till October in Ohio to put my first buck on the ground. <sighs> Dude, this is the best feeling in the world. Just like one of those, you know, like that disbelief moment, like, did that really just happen? I'm living in it right now, and it's, I freaking live for this, dude. So addicted to this stuff, so much fun. Thank you, Lord. I ain't wasting time, let's get in. <laughs> it's painted red, baby, that's what you want to see. Dude, he's right here. I about freaking stepped on him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen a deer's body that big? <laughs> <laughs> Neither. Oh my gosh, man. Dude, I did not know that he had this. Look at this extras on his base. I did not know he had this stuff. Oh my gosh. What a freaking brute. Smoking too, man. Dude, this is the biggest body deer I have ever shot in my life, hands down. Shotty thick, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the head on that thing, man. Oh my gosh. I'm blown away. Dude, I can't, I can't tell you how many times like stories have become absolute sagas chasing deer. And I have three different stories right now of deer I'm chasing, whether it's in Georgia or Tennessee, that just when you think they're easy and you got it figured out, you're wrong. And I've got several of those sagas unfolding for me right now. And coming up here, I mean, I knew we had a good chance at this deer, but it could have easily been one of those things where, because their pattern's changing right now. I mean, there's, this place is loaded with acorns and you know, they're starting to break out of their summer habitat or summer patterns. I didn't know if this was gonna be one of those sagas. That was the, this is the first one and done sit I've ever had in my life on a deer I've been chasing. I've never in my life sat one time for a buck and had it happen. This is the first time in 16 years of hunting that that's ever happened. And I've never laid eyes on a deer with a body like this before in my life. This thing is an absolute mule. <laughs> what do you see this thing? Oh my gosh, dude. Look at the body on it. I've never seen a white tail like that in my life. That is sick. Oh, Look at dude. all this. That's so sick. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> Dude, congrats.
Congrats, man. I couldn't have done it without you, man. Look at the body on it. It's giant. Here, it's huge. I, I'm telling you, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I can't move this thing. Dude, this is so sick. This is this this is. I'm telling you, I've walked up on some big deer. I've walked up on some big body deer in yeah. Ohio. Yeah. This is this it might be the biggest body deer I've ever walked. It's up the on. biggest body deer I've ever seen. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> this worked out. That's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't make fun of me, guys. This is what this is YouTube. This is yeah, what yeah. YouTubers do. We have to no. talk to a camera. <laughs> Man, I've seen a couple of your videos, and they're good. I thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. So my message for this video is my favorite part of hunting is meeting new people, going to new places. And I mean, you and I just talk on the phone many times. This is us hanging out. And Jason was, you know, a guy that I just, I mean, we became friends through another friend, and now we're definitely lifelong friends. So. That is my favorite part of hunting, coming to a new place, is meeting new people, having really cool experiences, and experience of what y'all state has to offer. This is a freaking donkey. <laughs> yeah. So, appreciate you guys watching. That's all we got. Get them cleaned up, taken care of.